Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am coming to you with a video response for Cindy for Kiddos here on YouTube. She is having a challenge where she wants us to show her um, our resin pieces or clay pieces and molds that we make to, to make embellishments. So what you see here is my little embellishment jar. Um, I have all my resin pieces in here that I actually made on yesterday. Um, out of this aqua counter color, which is Pool Party by Stampin' Up, and then the white, which is just the regular color of the amazing resin that I use to make all of these resin pieces. So this is just my little jar that I keep it in. I love this little jar. It goes up on my little shelf, but I wanted to bring it down to share with you guys how many resin pieces you can actually make um, using just a little bit of that resin. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me share with you guys what I did. Um, this is a mold that I made from a metal piece from um, Michaels um, using amazing mold putty. And this is amazing casting resin. And what I did was I allowed the white to sit in there first. And then I came back and I dyed some resin. I believe this is positively pink maybe. Um, and made this pink color typewriter. I really like the way these came out. Even though they have like these little holes in it. And the reason for those holes is because that's where all the air bubbles were. And I didn't get the air bubbles out. But this amazing mold resin stuff, you have to work really quick. I mean, in less than, probably in less than two minutes, this stuff starts to get hard, bubbling up. And if you don't use it and pour it in a mold, that's it. You'll have to throw away your batch. So you have to be really quick on working with that. But that is one of them that, that I made. Let me pull you guys down a little bit. These are the other ones that I made. This was a Prima um, fountain that I made a mold out of and then made another resin piece. This is um, this particular metal crown. And I made this from it. This is the cutest little um, bird's nest with eggs in it. And that was made from this mold here. And this is, um, what kind of mold is this? This is one of those new molds. I can't remember um that you put the glue down inside of but I used resin inside of mine so that's what I made with that and also these birds are these birds here so I really like this because it's not a very deep cavity but it has uh, some really good detail to it so you don't use a lot of product but you come out with some really cute I made a bunch of these owls and birds I made a bunch of all of this stuff yesterday um what this is, is a Webster's Pages, and as you guys can see, this one is messed up because that was an air bubble there too, but that's okay because I'm still going to use it on the project. I'll probably um, put some flowers around this or something and kind of camouflage it a bit, but it says keep calm and scrap the one. This is a Webster's Pages um, piece that I just made a mold out of and then made my own little resin pieces from it. This is a Martha Stewart mold. And these are so cute because you can put, I've put um, pearls in the middle, I've put rhinestones in the middle, and you can make a project out of them. And you can glaze them and make them even more shiny than this is. This is kind of a dull matte finish to it. And then if, it, if I shined it up, that's what it would look like, this shiny stuff on the back. And this is a butterfly that I've made three-dimensional. And the way that you do this is you take it out of the mold while it's still kind of, it has to be firm but not all the way dry. And then you just kind of bend it up a bit and let it sit. Like I put it inside of a jar that has a very small lid. So if you imagine putting it inside of a jar like this and it kind of squeezes it together, well it makes it very 3D, three dimensional so you can put it on your projects. And um, this is a cameo that I made from... A Martha Stewart mold that I had and I just took a white marker and kind of put it on the top of here and it made it really cool you know it made the rose kind of stand out um, these are some cards that I actually made and I, I made these a while ago but this is using um, that paper clay by Martha Stewart where you mix the colors and you come up with your own colors and this is the other one that I made so just to share with you guys some things that you can do with your resin pieces and last but not least, let me share with you guys these. These are um, Martha Stewart molds. And these are some frames that I made. This is another one that I made. Martha Stewart. And last but not least, um, I made a mold of this telephone. And so I made a bunch of these telephones to put on projects also. 
if I can dig down in there and get it. So this is what it looks like right here. And so that is the original. This is the, the resin piece and this is the mold. Alright guys, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care. Bye.